Yeah. Hey guys, this is Brandon with TexasBrews.org, and I'm here with Josh with Hops and Grain, and he's going to tell us about this new barrel age program. Right now, I'm uh, drinking this uh, barley wine, which has been in Maker's Barrels. Is that right? Mark Burger, yeah. Tell me. Uh, so, tell me about y'all's barrel program and you know, what you guys have going on. Yeah, we um, just started uh, releasing some of the stuff from our what we call the Volumes of Oak series. Um, we've had beers aging. As long as about five months now, uh, in various different types of oak barrels, uh, from French oak to American oak, uh, red wine in both of those, and then uh, American oak bourbon barrels from a couple of different distilleries uh, in Kentucky. Um, so we've had three different styles of beer aging uh, that we just released this week. Uh, barley wine that we did in both bourbon and French oak red wine, our pale dog in both styles of barrels, and then also the alteration that we just won. That alteration is a new world beer cup winner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold medal. Then we've also just started doing some other projects with a Baltic Porter uh, and some various fruits. Um, okay. We're aging there with some wild yeast and bacteria. Um, and then some other uh, alteration projects with wild yeast and bacteria. Yeah, it looks like we've got some uh, lactobacillus, some uh, patinomyces. And tell me about some of these barrels. Yeah, so these are all these we're looking at here came from uh, the Maker's Mark Distillery. Um, they were fresh to us seven days from being emptied. Um, that was about as quickly as we could get them here, um, and we got them filled the same day they came in. Uh, those were really, really rich with bourbon. Uh, we chose for this first round to keep the bourbon in there, the little bit that always comes uh, from a distillery. So uh, they really, really picked up a lot of really nice uh, vanilla um, hints of oak, which are nice, but just a rich kind of toffee vanilla um, bourbon character. Then the red wine barrels have had um, a Cabernet blend. Okay. Uh, is the most recent empty, I guess, and before that they were they were coopered in 2007 uh, in France, aged uh, Pinot Noir, I believe, for the first three years, and then were sold to a West Coast winery, uh, and we got them from them. Um, and then two Woodford Reserve barrels, a uh, little five-gallon ones down at the end, which have been able to do some, um, some kind of isolated projects that'll allow us to, the, the maturation rates in five gallons are much faster than so it helps us to kind of see what a beer is going to turn into much faster. Interesting. Okay. And it's just five gallons. We don't sell any of that stuff. It's just kind of tap room only. But, uh, but cool to experiment with. Fun to play with things that we wouldn't otherwise probably put immediately into uh, 60 gallons. So, yeah, this good. is it. So we've got 36 barrels right now. Uh, and we're every month accumulating more and more. So Very good. Thanks again, man. Yeah, Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers.